Yes, you guys, your eyes are not deceiving you. Uh, this was reported by IGN, by the way. Yes, Xbox and PlayStation are now considering putting non-skippable ads in free-to-play games. Now, a lot of people, this has a lot of gamers kind of, you know, worried because, you know, if they start doing this with free-to-play games, you can only expect this to transfer uh, over to, you know, games that we're paying $59.99 and $69.99 for. And gaming is already expensive as it is. If you're gonna put in ads in a game, in a free-to-play game, which by the way, if you want the best characters, the best in-game items, you're still gonna end up paying money, aka microtransactions, which that right there, microtransactions, it is a big problem in gaming in general nowadays. So when you have, you know, free-to-play um, games getting these ads, it's going to be a problem because how frequent are these ads going to be? Because they claim in the article that you see on your in uh, on this screen about, you know, IGN, they say that the free to play games if you watch these ads, you get some uh in-game items and stuff. Now, if the in-game items are actually good items, uh and stuff or unlockable characters or something then yes this can be a really good thing now don't get me wrong i love xbox i've and i've enjoyed playstation when i have played on my playstation 4 or whatever right you know i've been i've been i love what both companies do right but when you start playing around with gamers loyalty and you start taking advantage of our love for video games by putting sneaking these little ads in here and stuff and you know this is what's gonna cause the gaming industry to fail it's gonna become a big problem because you know uh once they see that they can make some money and they can try to get as much as they can out of gamers greed is gonna take over greed is a huge thing and people will take advantage of people's support for their brands and their companies you know and if they can just if they can give you the bare minimum and um in a game and then try to make you pay for it and make it seem like oh you're getting all this cool extra stuff that should have been in the game from the beginning to me it's a ripoff you know now i could be wrong this could end up being a really good thing for the gaming industry but the way this is looking and sounding i'm not quite sure about this you guys but I want to know what you all think about this in the comment section below. What do you think this is going to do for the gaming industry? Because, you know, we're already paying enough money as it is for our games. All these uh, $69.99 for next-gen games with just like $75 uh, with the tax or whatever. And that's not including the expensive season passes, which is about $40 now. It's like, dude, you rip, y'all ain't finna be taking all my money, and you're not gonna make me watch some silly ads for games like that. It's just wrong. What you gonna do is gonna end up hurting your fan base. You're gonna end up hurting your audience, and that is a problem that gaming doesn't need. But we'll see how all of this turns out. Hopefully, it'll turn out to be something for the good. But anyways, this is George L, your friend, neighborhood YouTuber. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you check out my other videos that I have put out, like the Streets of Rage live action movie um, video, and as well as Sonic Origins. Anyways, you all take good care, and peace out.